The ethical and unethical treatment of animals. What defines these terms? What is ethical killing? Is there such a thing? Various cultures around the world carry very different beliefs and traditions on how animals are treated. In general, when considering ethical and unethical treatment, there are four main topics, worship and respect, food sources, brutality, and sport. These topics tend to intertwine, such as food sources and sport, and sport and brutality. Some of the main current issues include dog meat trade, considerably in China, sport versus hunting, the killing of elephants that takes place for community protection or for poaching, and the worship of cows in India, as well as the killing of sharks for the sole purpose for their fins. When observing food ethics, the underlying social structure is the agricultural and food production system. By attacking the ethics of livestock and game animals, you're threatening the way of life of the people whose livelihood depends on them. An example of this would be if we decided as a whole that fishing of sharks for shark fin soup was unethical. Then, it would be hurting the bottom dollar of shark fishers. Shark fin soup is considered a delicacy and is frequently consumed by the wealthy. It is an important cultural tradition that takes place on New Year's Eve and during wedding parties in different parts of the world, especially in Asian countries. Those who do not participate in such traditions find the practice barbaric and wasteful. Only about 3% of a shark is consumed at most. The sharks are captured, their fins are removed while they're still alive, and they are thrown back into the ocean to suffer until they die. This is considered unethical killing. Hunting is controversial in that it is considered both ethical and unethical killing. There are many factors, such as if the animal being hunted is an instant kill, why the animal is being hunted, and if animals should be hunted at all. Trophy hunting is considered a violation of conservation, cruel, and wasteful. Hunting for food sources is still considered cruelty for many people, but it is a valuable resource for many families and even food drives for those in poverty. It also helps reduce large populations such as deer and keep those populations under control. Animals do not receive as much sympathy in terms of hunting and the meat market, such as fish. Perhaps this is due to the cuteness factor. Fish are seen as ugly and lacking intelligence. Therefore, they appear unimportant and without feeling or comprehension. Or it is simply due to cultural norms. The idea of eating dog meat is barbaric in the United States and many other countries, but for China, it's a normal part of society. What about cows? In India, they are sacred, but in America, burgers are regularly enjoyed without a second thought. Those who do give a second thought to their meat consumption often cannot afford more ethical ways of providing nutrition. Free-range meats and eggs are more expensive than factory-raised ones. Considering that animals are living breathing creatures capable of understanding, at least to a basic extent, emotion, they should be treated with care and respect. It is important to support organizations that work to protect animals worldwide. It is also important to support organizations that are truthful and fully protect animals. PETA is a polarizing organization that is seen as extreme, going beyond reasonability and euthanizing thousands of animals every year in the name of animal protection and rights. Culture plays a huge role in how society views and treats animals. These views originate from religion, tradition, rituals, and economics. Generally, it is up to society to lay down the laws of animal treatment and distribution, and it is up to you to make a difference.